On this special episode of World Domination Wrestling Alliance celebrating American Pride, the powerhouse Mike Strong representing Canada takes on the American Bull DA Dove on a match that promises to be very physical. The newly crowned television champion Israel Sharif Fakur will be in action representing Iran. The Wildman Robbie Page defends the WDWA Light Heavyweight Championship against Corey Bryant. Can Corey handle the adrenaline rush? Also, on this episode, Triple Fierce Kevin Mears puts the World Domination Wrestling Alliance Heavyweight Championship on the line as he faces the dangerous man child. And in our main event, the return of Shane Malice as he takes on the Marcus Kane, a match that can go either way. All of this and more tonight in World Domination Wrestling Alliance. The show starts right now. Hello everyone, welcome to a new edition of World Domination Wrestling Alliance right here on TV10. Today we are celebrating American Pride, so let's go right to the ring where WDWA owner Latin Tornado is ready for the national anthem. I honestly came out here 
because I thought that we got off on the wrong foot, Martin Burke. I know what today means to you, and I understand that, but that had nothing to do with me. I come out here, and you tell me that I should go to the back because I'm your ring. That had nothing to do with me. Everything that I have done, I have not missed one show since we have come back. I have been out here grinding for you people, but you don't seem to appreciate that. So with that being said, maybe I do not even defend my World Domination Wrestling Alliance Television Championship tonight. Mr. Commissioner, He's saying that he will not defend his television title to not. So, I don't know. See, do but retire. Because, you know, every 9 11, I really get pissed off because of what happened 20 years ago. Every night and every people like you, I just want to beat the living hell out of. So, just because I'm a better man, I'm gonna pass it to the commissioner about his uh, title defense. What's the matter, Ice? Are you scared? I'm not definitely not scared. I'm stripping you of that title, yeah. and you're getting the hell out of WDWA. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you see, we are the land of opportunity. Yeah. And the blue chipper, Jordan Evans, has earned his opportunity to kick your ass. Yeah. And I agree with you, all right? I agree with you. You are not to blame for 9-11. I don't agree with all that stereo, stereotypical BS. You're right, and these people know that. But I blame you for the BS that you do here at WDWA. Yeah. And you will pay for your little cowardness hiding over here while my man, Travis DeVore, had the battle roll on one for this title. There's no more sneaking around Cause tonight, the blue collar, Jordan Evans, is taking that title right back to his house. That's perfectly all right, my friend. But if you ever put your hands on my title again, I will be justified in everything that I do, and yes, then you can blame me for what happens to yeah. our commissioner. And you can guarantee one more thing. You lay your hands on me, I'll knock you the hell out. your ass to the back so we can start our show. And we're off to a huge start. We are ready not tonight on this episode of World Domination Wrestling Alliance. It will be the blue chipper Jordan Evans taking on the television champion Israel Sharif Fakur. But right now, let's go to our opening contest. And it's not just any match. 
it's for the WWA Heavyweight Championship as Kevin Mears faces Manchild. Introducing first the is one big guy, Travis. He is so scary. He has been calling WDWA management ever since Berkeley Mania. Him and Travis, him and, uh, excuse me, him and uh, Kevin Mears were the last two in the ring to declare the world heavyweight champion. And Kevin Mears took that big man off his feet and over the top rope. And he is here tonight to seek revenge on Kevin Mears. That's right. That's the whole story for all you at home. Thank you so much for tuning in to TV10 here on Comcast for WDWA Wrestling. And his opponent from Shady Side, Maryland, weighing at 250 pounds. He is the reigning and defending WDWA heavyweight champion, Triple B. Travis, our world heavyweight champion, Triple Fears, Kevin Mears, and this might be his biggest opponent to date, Travis. I can barely hear myself. These fans are just going crazy. They love Kevin Mears around these parts. This guy has worked hard. He's won every title in here, but now he is our world heavyweight champion. Yes, he is great. He's, he's proven. He's proven it time and time again. Why they call him Triple Fears. And it's time for Manchild to face his fears. This is the match we've all been waiting for. Look at the size of that guy. Man, it blows me away. say he's from the freak show where is that Travis the freak show is somewhere in Idaho I do remember seeing that on a pamphlet um, and that's all I got nice I'm telling you Kevin Mears he's just the kind of guy that every wrestler aspires to be exactly. he, he's in the gym around the clock he's studying he's he's doing what it takes to be a professional. He deserves everything he gets here in WDWA. He works hard. There's nobody in the locker room that works harder than Triple Fierce Kevin Mears. That's a fact. And we're not kidding around with you people at home. This is a fact. I will be amazed if he's able to pick Manchild up off of his feet. Oh, I would love to see it. Seeing the stampede run wild in the WDWA arena. Oh, I would love to see it. There you go. He's got the big man in a headlock now. Oh, look at the strength of Manchild. Oh, wow. Manchild wants to play. Look at the face of Kevin Mears. He's not playing. He takes this business serious. I mean, he's, he's a grown child. Essentially, Manchild is. He wants to play. Uh, that wrestling ring is no jungle gym, Travis. Yeah, I don't think the words, the word play is in Kevin Mears' dictionary. No, nope. all serious. He takes this business serious. He takes his training serious. He takes that world heavyweight championship serious, Travis. And it looks like Manchild is literally using Kevin Mears as a play toy. He thinks he's trying to have fun. Kevin Mears is only gonna put up with, but so much with that. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they'll have a little playtime, but uh Yeah, but you don't want to upset man child. He becomes a very angry child. Kevin Mears saying he's gonna
gonna try something else. He's got a kickboxing background. He's using that tonight on Manchild. Nice forearms by Kevin Mears. Manchild feels no pain. That's the way it looks, Travis. I, I don't have much to say about this Manchild. He's just, he's unpredictable. Look at that man child. He's just walking around toying with Kevin. It's kind of interesting to see. It's yet another circumstance where Kevin Mears is put into a match with somebody he doesn't know how to prepare for. How do you prepare for man child? I don't know. I mean, I'm sure he's just been, you know, hitting the weights, you know, trying to, to get the strength to be able to pick a guy up like that. Or he's been on the treadmill trying to be a lot faster than this guy. But uh, as for trying to figure out what he's thinking and being the, the head of Manchild, I don't think there is a way to do that. There isn't. Manchild with a big body slam. Oh, he was gonna crush him right there, Travis. That's one way to get him down. And Ke Kevin capitalizing once Manchild's off his feet. He's cutting, down, cutting him down to size. It's the only thing you can really do. That, that, that's it. You said it. Trying to choke the life out of the man child. Man child slowly getting back to his feet, though. Danica's right there to see if it's a choke. Kevin Mears is right below the chin. Man child's almost the same height as Kevin Mears on his knees. Yeah, he is. You can't, you can't win from on your knees, Travis. Whoa. Slammed Kevin's back into that corner. The champion is not looking good right now. Calling for a choke slam? Watch out, Kevin. He's got him. He's got him by the throat. He's calling for it. Dear Kevin God, Kirby. does he have him? Oh! Oh my gosh! Did you see that, Travis? Samoan drop! He just Samoan dropped Manchild! I cannot believe what I just saw. Holy. Oh, man. The strength from Kevin Mears. You said it. I mean, I'm excited too, Gavin. Jeez. Is, is he going to be able to stand up after that? I wouldn't be able to. There's no way his back is 100% after picking Man Child up. He like better that. hope he doesn't have sciatica. That's all I'm saying. And he's got. Is he calling for the stampede? Oh! Whoa, Kevin Mears almost lost his heavyweight championship there. That was within the inches. Could you imagine a company as Manchild as your world heavyweight champion? Hey, I'd be impressed. He's a big guy. But Kevin Mears does not want that to happen. He's doing everything he can. Ducking the clothesline. Over the top rope. Manchild thinks he has him, but Kevin Mears going to the top rope. Oh, bad idea, Kevin. Because Manchild just caught you. Manchild moves so slow and methodical. Oh. He is, are those ropes going to be able to hold Manchild? No way. He's trying his best to get trying. on the top rope. He was going to go all the way to the top. We might have had to replace some ropes after that, Travis. And look at Kevin Mears. Oh, Kevin Mears. Kevin Mears missed the sunset flip. Manchild's going up. Oh, he got him. He's meeting him halfway. Oh, please be careful, man child. What is gonna happen with big man up there? A man his size oh falling my, to the could ground. Could this be the stampede? Oh my gosh, he Travis! He just stampede! Unbelievable! Man -child. That is why he's the world heavyweight champion right there! He got it, he got all of it. Another obstacle out of the way for Kevin Mears. And still your heavyweight champion. What strength. Woo, doggy. I'm 
telling you. He's going to have to go home and put some icy hot on that back. Have his wife give him a nice little rub down so that he can be here to defend that title. That's another match. So it's probably going to go down as a classic. My gosh. What strength from Kevin Mears. Big man child. I did not think he was gonna feel the stampede tonight, Travis. Oh, but he felt it. We all did. I Triple Beers, Kevin Mears, still your champion. Wow. Experience all the excitement of World Domination Wrestling Alliance Pro Wrestling Live. Come and become part of the show, showing support to your favorite wrestlers. For more information, call us or look us up on Facebook. There is nothing like experiencing World Domination Wrestling Alliance live. We'll see you at the next show. Israel Shuri Fakor, and I am your World Domination Wrestling Alliance television champion. They cheered in the streets of Tehran for my greatness. Greatness will shine through as Israel Shuri Fakor proves why I own WRNR TV, my friends.
Experience all the excitement of World Domination Wrestling Alliance Pro Wrestling Live. Come and become part of the show. Showing support to your favorite wrestlers. For more information, call us or look us up on Facebook. There is nothing like experiencing World Domination Wrestling Alliance live. We'll see you at the next show. Hello again, you are watching World Domination Wrestling Alliance right here on TV10. And this morning, the owner of the company, Latin Tornado, on an exclusive Facebook Live, went to look for Shane Malice, who today is supposed to be making his big return, but he was not able to find it. So before the show started, we sent our videographer, Steve, who happens to be a very close friend of Shane Malice, to look for him. Let's take a look. Hey Juan, I just got off the phone with Shane. He's actually here now. And all the crap that LT was talking about earlier, I'm gonna let him know what's going on. Shane, what's up, man? Hey, uh, I don't think you saw the video earlier, but you know, LT up to his regular propaganda, you know, he was looking for you. He, uh, he went to the dumpster, he went to the ladies' consignment shop, he went to the restaurant over here, and I kept saying, look, I guarantee he'll be here. So All... is that what I am right now? Looking in a dumpster, it's real funny, right? We like watching wrestling TV shows where it's all fun and games, and the owner of the company always likes to screw with the talent. And we're looking in dumpsters. We're looking in wherever all these silly places are for me. Is that what my career has come to at this point? In my opinion, You're laughing as we're saying this. Am I a joke to everybody here? No. The fact that I'm even here, you all should be blessed. I'm, we're not doing an interview. This is done. Hey, dude. What's up? Still. Shane Malice is set to face the Marcus Kane today in our main event. We'll actually hear from the Marcus Kane later on the show. But right now, let's hear from our television champion, Israel Sharif Fakur. Now that we know who he will be defending his title against. Tonight, my friends, at the Custom Creations Building in Martinsburg, West Virginia, Israel Sharif Fakur shall defend his World Domination Wrestling Alliance Television Championship against the blue chipper Jordan Evans. And now I respect you, Jordan Evans, and I respect your grind. However, tonight the blue chipper gets to swallow the red pill, the harsh reality that Israel Sharif Fakor is the number one guy in this company, my friend. And tonight you shall find that out. Azalama Lake. Israel Sharif Fakur will be defending the WDWA Television Championship later on this episode against the blue chipper Jordan Evans. But right now, let's move on to our next match. And it's a pride match between Canada's own Mike Strong and representing America, the American Bull, DA Dov. Mike Strong, the big Canadian from up north, going one on one against the American. The American Bull, D.A. Dunn. Sign it to the ring. Introducing first from Calgary, Alberta. Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Weighing in at 365 pounds. Mike Strong! Mike Strong, I'm telling you. Ah, uh, look who's back, Travis. Look who's back. It's Eric. Eric C. Jones. 
He is not looking well. Do you think he has the flu? What do you think is the problem? I don't know. I hope he doesn't have COVID. He doesn't have a mask on. Yeah, put on a mask. He should start wearing the mask. Cover up that beautiful face of his. Mike Strong being a good partner, helping him around. We haven't seen Eric since Berkeley Mania. We have not. Been a number of episodes here on TV 10. We haven't seen him, but I think he has something to say tonight. Some of the fans are wearing masks just to poke fun at him. Eric, where have you been since Berkeley Mania? He hasn't been getting a haircut. At Berkeley Mania, I was ganged up on by a bunch of masked hoodlums. And I've had some bruised ribs, so I haven't been able to form. You want to give him some help? No, I'm fine. I'm very comfortable sitting here right now. I would compromise my entire comfortability by getting up and helping Eric C. Jones right now. Looks like Luke McCracken's in there. Luke such McCracken. A great citizen. He is. He has pulled two citizens arrest in, in real life. This opponent from the heartland of America. Weighing in at 240 pounds. I love this guy, the Travis. American Bull, D -A -D -A. Can, do you know the answer to this one? What does the D A stand for? I know his first name's Dallas. His middle name is awesome, and he's dope. <laughs> that works for me. Yes, the American Bull, Dallas Dove. He lives for this business. He breathes this business. He just wants to bring home some more money. And, and tonight, well, I don't know if that's going to come true because Mike Strong, <laughs> he, he's, a, he's a specimen. Dove versus Mike Strong right here on TV 10 Comcast. Maybe a little stare off here. What's going on? Uh, Travis. Travis, they're pumping up right now. We got red, white, and blue running through their veins. Nice stay up. Whoa. That's how you Mike do it. Strong. Very impressive. I wish we could get a camera on Eric C. Jones right now. He's in so much pain. He looks like he has to use the restroom. All right, with a big lock up here. He does look like he's full of. Never mind. DA Dove, you better be watching Eric C. Jones like a hawk. Go. Got the waist lock on Big Mike. Look at that. It, by, by no means is DA Dove a small man. Not at all. You might not be able to tell at home, but D.A. Dove is a full-grown man, and Mike Strong ragdolled him. Mike Strong's biggest two, two men. Look at the arm. Look at the size of the arms on Mike Strong. 
He has to be a competitive bodybuilder or something. Look at nice that. Nice feel right out of the corner. Rag doll. He is just taking his time. He's not even sweating yet. Oh, and D.A. Dove moves out of the way. <laughs> Giving him some shots. There you go. Maybe a 10 punch. D.A. Dove's trying his best. He's staying on him, Travis. You're gonna have to hit Mike Strong a little bit harder than that. You're gonna have to hit him with a cement block. That's something you can hit him with. There you go. Get him, D.A. Dove. Look at that. Knee to the face. Could this be a bulldog? Nice Bulldog! He took the big man down! He landed it. Now he's going for a cover. Smart man. There you go, getting a two count. It is not easy to take the big man off his feet. Us both being former professional wrestlers now in different roles, uh, seeing... Oh, God. Seeing D.A. Dove get into the ring with Mike Strong, I don't know if I would have done that. I actually saw uh, Mike Strong in the Battle Royal for the television title, and I avoided him like the plague. <laughs> that was very smart of you, Travis. That's your uh, that's your your veteran instincts, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah. You just, you just don't want him to get get his hands on you because he'll do something like oh. this. Look at that nerve hold, man. With both hands. Do you know the amount of strength that is? That's got to be about 250, 300 pounds of pressure. He could totally pop his whole shoulder off. Unbelievable. If he wanted to, he could just rip his collarbone straight out. Now this would be a Friday the 13th movie or something here. All I know, if D.A. Dove, you're going to put on the red, white, and blue, you need to start showing us the home of the brave right now. Get that American bull. Oh, couldn't take him down. Hit him with another one. Come on, Dove, you got it. He's going. Fly like a dove, DA Dove. Nice close line. He took the big man down again. He has a chance to beat him right here. He's going to get the three. Oh, no. I thought that was it. D.A. Dub needs to think of something. He's got to think of it quick. Now Eric is talking to Mike Strong. Eric's always talking. That's true. You can't get the man to shut up. Going to whip him? Not today. Mike Strong, he's not going to let something like that happen. You got it. Oh, finally got him. Just took a couple shots, but D.A. Dove, it looks like he's got it in his, in his favor. Oh, Mike Strong, a little bit too strong for... Oh, it's gonna be hard to get up from that, Travis. That was one hell of a slam, and that'll do it. Whoa, whoa, look at Eric! <laughs> he's perfectly fine! He just got up like nothing is wrong with him. Unbelievable. That little trickster. I really thought he was hurt. I really did, Gavin. I really did, too. I mean, I saw him get put through a door at Berkeley Media. Well, that's a big win for Mike Strong. Here comes security. Well, not security, but the other referees. Wow. Yeah, look at Mike Strong. Mike Strong, he just has a mean streak about him. You don't want to make that man angry. Oh, come on. What is he doing now? Who do you think we have on the roster, Travis, that can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mike Strong? What a slam. Well, I guarantee you, Triple Fears, Kevin Mears wouldn't let him do that. Oh, I guarantee that as well.
Wow. I, I gotta make sure these guys get out of here. I, I can't let this happen. Okay. Commissioner Gavin Jackson is trying to make sure order is being stayed here. He got up from the commentary table. He's telling them to get to the back. Wow. The match is over, Gavin is saying. Unbelievable. It's just disgusting. I hate it. Just terrible. They're checking on DA Dove right now. He took quite the beating tonight. Experience all the excitement of World Domination Wrestling Alliance Pro Wrestling Live. Come and become part of the show. Showing support to your favorite wrestlers. For more information, call us or look us up on Facebook. There is nothing like experiencing World Domination Wrestling Alliance Live. We'll see you at the next show. Israel Shuri Fakor, and I am your World Domination Wrestling Alliance television champion. They cheered in the streets of Tehran for my greatness. Greatness will shine through as Israel Shuri Fakor proves why I own WRNR TV, my friends. Azalam.
experience all the excitement of World Domination Wrestling Alliance Pro Wrestling Live. Come and become part of the show, showing support to your favorite wrestlers. For more information, call us or look us up on Facebook. There is nothing like experiencing World Domination Wrestling Alliance live. We'll see you at the next show. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been an explosive episode so far. In our opening contest, Triple Fierce Kevin Mears defeated Manchild to retain the World Domination Wrestling Alliance Heavyweight Championship. And after that, we saw Canada's own Mike Strong completely destroying the American Bull DA Dove. And right now, it's Iran against USA as the blue chipper Jordan Evans is set to take on Israel Sharif Fakur with the television championship on the line. Ladies and gentlemen, this next match is scheduled for one fall and it is for the WDWA Television Championship! Israel Sharif Fakur, Jordan Evans. Jordan Evans bringing out the American flag here, Travis. I would love nothing more than to see Jordan Evans become the new television champion. He is waving around that American flag and I love it, Gavin. I would love for Jordan Evans to be our next television champion. Now we await that slime ball ISP Israel Sharif Fakur. On. The man wears tape on his feet. Disgusting. That's don't, right, don't ISP. Come over I here. see you. I see you. He's, he's eyeing see me you. up. I see you. Get, get in the ring. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Get in the ring. Okay. Get in the ring. Yeah, get out of here, you slime ball. You're just like Doug Rafferty. Nobody can trust you. Nobody likes you. Yeah, Doug Rafferty's not even here tonight. Just street trash. He's he's the kind of guy that you're gonna see asking for a couple bucks on the corner of 7-Eleven. I'm telling you right now, he's dirty, he's trash. He tried to get out of this match, Travis. But if you but if you plan on being a champion here in WDWA, you will defend it. We only have fighting champions here. That's the golden rule at the WDWA. Reigning champion, just newly crowned champion ISP defending the belt against the blue chipper, Jordan Evans. You know, I take nothing away from ISP's talent. I think he's very talented. 
I take everything away from him. I, I, you know, I don't think he's half the man that he says he is. He uh, hid underneath the ring in that whole battle royal to win the to, to win the television title. I was the last man in the ring. You're right, Travis. You're right. I was gonna say he's very talented, but not talented enough to deserve that television championship. Who are these people at the at, at the entrance here? We've seen these guys before. Yeah, they just keep showing up. Very mysterious. I have no idea what, what the heck's going on. Well, let's keep our eyes on the ring now. Jordan Evans, he's got a tight headlock on ISP. God, that's sunk in deep. ISP cannot go anywhere. All the fans would love to see Jordan Evans walk out new champion tonight. Big whip off shoulder tackle. Here we go. Jordan Evans jumping over. Here we go. Sunset flip. Yeah, okay. The leg sweep. Jordan Evans going toe to toe. Move for move. Beautiful arm drag. That was the best arm drag I've seen in a long time. That's the kind of action you get here at the WDWA. Shades of Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Ricky, Morton, you go down the line. Jordan Evans has the same kind of arm drag. He keeps working hard, Travis. He might be on that list one day. For sure. ISP got out of it. Here we go. Whoa, oh! He was gonna dump ISP right on his head. That was a near fatal mistake. Oh, wow. He went for the double axe handle. Jordan Evans catching him in the sky. These people love Jordan Evans. A release fisherman suplex. Looks like the blue chipper. He's been studying ISP. He has a counter for everything ISP's tried to do so far. Amazing. Wow. That was the biggest back body drop I've ever seen. Now Jordan Evans. Oh, come on ISP. You need to get back in the ring to win the match. He doesn't care. Evans, you better go get him. I think that's what ISP wants. Jordan Evans needs more than a win tonight, Travis. He needs to walk away with this championship. And we still have these guys in the entranceway. What is their deal? Another knife edge chop. Uh, there's that gigantic man in the back, and I, I can't really make out you know, who's under that mask, but. Listen, we have the pulse. We have a finger on the pulse of professional wrestling. We've never seen these guys anywhere. No. I mean, they're staying out of everything, which is good, you know. I, but yeah. still, I guess everybody here hates ISP. He needed some support, I guess. I don't know. It's all pure speculation at this point. Yep. All I do know is that ISP, he's got the upper hand now. Chopping him down to size. Jordan needs to think of something quick. Oh. Wow. Kicks in the corner. Jordan Evans is in a bad way. Uh, he's rubbing those feet right in his face. Disgusting. told the ref he has till five. He's really bending the rules at this point. I don't think he really cares about the rules here, Travis. He's got the blue chipper by his hair, hooking him. Big time suplex going for a pin. Where is Doug tonight? Yeah, where is Doug Rafferty? That slime ball. Is he under the ring too? I wouldn't be surprised. He can't be this mask guy. 
You put Doug Rafferty in a mask, it looked like a Pillsbury Doughboy can. <laughs> Where you pop the biscuits out. Here we go, Jordan Evans. Trying, he tried to make a comeback just now. ISP's poking the bear at this point. Yeah, you don't want to piss Jordan Evans off. Another stiff kick to the gut there from ISP. And I'm backed into the corner here. Wow. Oh, ISP eating a boot. Need to capitalize on that, Jordan. Another big back elbow. Standing drop kick. Stay on him, Jordan. Stay on him. He's feeling it. The crowd is solidly behind Jordan. Just when you think Jordan's out, he's going to the top. Crossbody! He can be new champion right here, Travis. He got all of it. Oh, I thought that so was going to be a So close. Three. He was inches away. Wow. A lot of the fans are saying it was a three, too. People are glued to their seat right now. They are on the edge. Jordan Evans, man, he's a risk taker. He's a high risk taker. He's going to the top again. Could this be his finisher, the top of the elbow? I think so. I think so. That's it. This could be it. That's it. Oh, look, come on. See, the referee, he did not realize what was going on in the outside. I mean, that, that's a good ref move to keep your eyes on all cylinders, but. That happened so fast. What? Did, he, did he win? No, Jordan, he is not the winner just yet. The match continues. But he, I, I saw him drop the elbow. He did drop the elbow. Sorry, our, our angle here is a little bit uh, catty cornered off here in the corner. Did he just pull him off, Travis? He did. This Jordan is trying to win this title. Not today. That was the biggest mafia kick I've ever seen. And that's the game. Wow. I can't believe he just won. ISB is still our television champion, but the bigger story is who are these guys and where are they going? Their work here is done, I guess. They just left. I'll be honest, Travis. I did not see these guys in the back. I don't know where they've come from. Yo. Know? Another win for ISB. Still your reigning television champion. I thought the blue chipper had it, had it this time. He did have it. He absolutely had it. But then that masked man, come on. Congratulations to the World Domination Wrestling Alliance television champion Israel Sharif Fakur, who at this point seems to be unstoppable right here on World Domination Wrestling Alliance in TV10. And someone else that has been unstoppable so far since winning the light heavyweight championship is Robbie Page. Let's hear from him right now. What this belt means to me, it means everything. I fought my way to the top of the chain to get an opportunity at this belt. At Berkeley Mania, I finally got to put it around my waist. And there's no way I'm just gonna lay down for anyone. I said, when I won this belt, I would take on any and all challengers. And that's what I'm doing tonight. In this business, you train to get better. You train to get opportunities. And two weeks ago, I stepped in the ring with two other competitors. I walked out still the champion, but one of those competitors, I seen a lot of heart and a lot of, seen a lot of determination. Now, I said that I would take on all challengers. So tonight, Corey Bryant, you wanted an opportunity. You showed me that you want this. So tonight, you're gonna have to prove it to me 
and every fan here tonight that you deserve to wear this belt. But I'm going to tell you this, Corey Bryant, you better be ready for a fight because the wild man don't come just to walk in and walk out. I come to show all these people what I'm made of. And tonight, Corey Bryant, we're going to see what you're made of. And the question I have for you is, can you handle the adrenaline rush? Can Corey Bryant really handle the adrenaline rush? Or will it be just one more win for our champion wildman Robbie Page? Let's find out right now. we have a fighting champion Robbie Page but Corey Bryant he's a very young guy fresh fresh in the wrestling business and he's looking to take the world by storm and what better way but to, stay, to, but to take World Domination Wrestling Alliance by storm and become the new light heavyweight champion well he almost won it at Berkeley Mania in that triple threat match but uh, yeah, we had, he, had, he had a third person in that match. Now he has a chance to win it with only one-on-one. -on -one. Biggest fan favorite here at the WDWA. You see kids with their faces painted all the time. They love to see Robbie Page. They definitely do. We're right near his hometown. He always has family, friends, and making new friends every show. I see Robbie Page posters. I see Robbie Page t-shirts. It's, uh, it's definitely a big night for Corey Bryant because if he wins tonight, that's a huge upset. New light heavyweight champion. Corey Bryant trained by the Hall of Famer, Jimmy Valiant. That's right. Boogie Woogie Man. Boogie Woogie Man. Don't point at me. Did you just point at me, Gavin? I don't like to be pointed at. I'm sorry. That just kind of came out. <laughs> I who was pointing? Corey. He just pointed over here. Maybe he was asking to pull your finger. <laughs> From here? Maybe. Is he a magician? And what are they checking on here? They're checking somebody's bag? Uh, it looks like Looks like Corey Bright might have a cut on the top of his head. It looks like referee is trying to uh Make uh, that's the most fair fight as he can. I thought he was a diabetic. They're trying to get his shot out or something. I don't think so, not to my knowledge. There's diabetics who wrestle. I bet. I bet there is. And there he is. Referee making the most clean contest as he can. At some point, Corey Bryant was, uh, I guess, had a cut on his head. Maybe from shaving. He looks cleanly shaven, but I don't know why you're shaving your forehead. You know what I mean? I don't know. Sometimes you get in that ring, you get pumped at the beginning of your match. Could be a fingernail, could, you know. Right. And here we go. Ring the bell. That was all pure speculation. You know what, that was a great, that was a great uh, decision by my referee, Richie White, you know. Make yeah. this a clean, fair contest. Yeah, that was very nice of him. And now we are underway to one of the most anticipated matches on the card tonight. Wild man Robbie Page and Corey Bryant. 
with the big circling up. Now they're gonna be locking up here. Nice collar elbow tie up. Beautiful, it looks like Corey Bryant's got the lead here. Corey Bryant, Bryant taking the wrist lock on the wild man. There you go, Robbie, take back control. This is your title on the line. Nice arm ringer. Corey Bryant rolls through. Hey. Look at that arc. Look at that. Oh, Robbie Page is going to have his hands full. Seeing some European style wrestling here. That's wonderful to see. Corey Bryant's got that hammerlock sunk in deep. Both these guys jockeying for position. Corey Bryant looking for a way to get out. He found his way out. A lot of chain wrestling at this point. Both, both these guys trying to, to take the lead in the match and neither one could grasp it yet. Look at that, going hold for hold. Hit him with the arm drag there. That was a deep arm drag, Travis. Hip toss. Corey Bryant's on fire. He's hitting him with some punches. Got him in the corner. There you go, Corey. You've got him where you want him. Got him with the big whip from the corner to corner. Reversal. Oh, big knees by the wild man. There you go. Whoa, leg sweep. Nice flipping elbow by Wildman. That is old school Robbie Page. He's been hitting that combo for years now. Now he's got him in the headlock. Robbie's got him in the he's headlock. Got him. He's squeezing, trying to cut the blood circulation off to the brain. That's one way to win the match. Make sure opponent not be able to think right on their feet, Travis. That's right. Back up on their feet now. Corey's got him off the ropes. Such an important move. Such an important move. Robbie is making sure this fight goes nowhere but stays in the center. Oh. Look at that. Corey now. Bryant keeps trying to, to take over the match, and Wildman just one step ahead of him. Hitting, hitting him with that out of nowhere headlock takeover. That was beautiful. This is the type of wrestling I like to watch, Travis. Light heavyweight championship on the line. It's always a big deal with the title on the line. Got him with the whip off. Drop down. Big frog. Nice drop, Crick. Woo. He got all of that. Got it going for the pin now. Oh, we were one count away from a new light heavyweight champion. We were. It was so close. Corey Bryant staying on Robbie at this point. Yes. I was hoping to see some chops. Let's get it in. Oh man, put him on top rope. What could he be going for here, Travis? Another big time chop. Are we gonna see a superplex? Got him hooked. Corey Bryant being very smart, holding on to that top rope. He is. The big headlock. Robbie's in a bad way. Cross body. That was a that it was almost over right there. Corey Bryant, man, he's showing a lot of promise. A big forearm. And, uh, Nice. Falcon's, Falcons arrow. arrow. That was my hey. favorite move to use on the old SmackDown vs. Raw yeah. video games. Made famous by Hayabusa, the late great Hayabusa. Yeah. He's got him hooked again. Is he going to go for it again? Oh, he went for it, but Robbie Page was ready. Whoa. Nice belly to belly. Corey Bryant is not out yet. He is uh, not out yet. He might have used the last bit of uh, energy and left kicking out of that kick yeah. out. Robbie's got him up. Is he going for it? 
Now Corey's still got a lot of left in him. A lot left in the tank. Oh. Now both men down. Stalemate, Gavin. That was a nice ghetto blaster. Corey Bryant's up. And our champ is down. What's Corey got planned right here? He's trying to prove to the world he could be the light heavyweight champion. Oh. Well, he got all Double of that. Double axe handle. Wonderful. Talk about head trauma. Oh, that'll do it. Got that headlock sunk in deep. Slowing, slowing down the pace, it looks like, at this point. Those double axe handles could be concussion starters right there, Travis. Those are nothing to play around with. Very messy. Come on, Robbie Page. That's what the fans want. He's got him. That changed everything. Robbie's on top. Going for a cover. Robbie wants to do anything in his power to keep that light heavyweight championship. A very coveted title belt here in the WDWA. Yeah, he fought long and hard for yes. that title. He long did. Long and hard. Long and hard. Hard and long. Ladies and gentlemen, he's got him in the corner with the big whip. Reversal. Oh! Look at that. Ben. Been Robbie in half with that. Corey Bryant with the double knees in the corner. Two. Oh man, we almost had a new light heavyweight champion. So close, so close. Robbie is starting to feel the adrenaline rush, I bet. Anytime Robbie gets, you know, close near falls on him, he starts getting that adrenaline running. I'm starting to hear Corey chance too. Nobody home. Got him with the kick to the gut. What are we gonna go for here, Robbie? Oh, this could be it. This is his finisher. Knee blaster. Oh, karate kick. Two, three, that's it. And still light heavyweight champion, the wild man, Robbie Page. Love to see it. He's a fighting champion. Yeah, I take nothing away from Corey Bryant right there, Travis. I'm glad he's here working for WDWA, but he's just got to wait a little bit longer for his shot at the light heavyweight championship. Robbie Page showing the respect. I like saying this, two guys that love our sport. Mano y mano. That's what makes good champions right there. A lot of sportsmanship, I love to see it. Corey Bryant can hold his head up high with that one, Travis. Yes, he can, yes, he can. But still, our light heavyweight champion, the wild man. Try Corey Bryant, but this belt's staying with me for a long time. Experience all the excitement of World Domination Wrestling Alliance Pro Wrestling Live. Come and become part of the show. Showing support to your favorite wrestlers. For more information, call us or look us up on Facebook. There is nothing like experiencing World Domination Wrestling Alliance live. We'll see you at the next show.
My name is Israel Shuri Fakor, and I am your World Domination Wrestling Alliance television champion. They cheered in the streets of Tehran for my greatness. Greatness will shine through as Israel Shuri Fakor proves why I own WRNR TV, my friends. Azalam.
experience all the excitement of World Domination Wrestling Alliance Pro Wrestling Live. Come and become part of the show. Showing support to your favorite wrestlers. For more information, call us or look us up on Facebook. There is nothing like experiencing World Domination Wrestling Alliance live. We'll see you at the next show. Before the commercial break, we saw the Wildman Robbie Page defeat Corey Bryan and retain his light heavyweight championship on a very close match. So congratulations to Wildman Robbie Page who keeps winning and keeps retaining the title no matter who he faces. And ladies and gentlemen, our main event is just around the corner. Shane Malice makes his return to World Domination Wrestling Alliance and he'll be facing this man. What's going on, boss? Right now, you're in tune with Demarcus Kane, the kingpin. I run things around here. And right now, I'm in WDWA, World Domination Wrestling Alliance. And I'm here to do exactly what I do best, and that's run things. The boss. So tonight, Shane Malice. Fact is, Shane, I don't know you very well. So I'm going to treat you just like I treat any other opponent. I'm going to kick ass and take names. You'll be just another name on the hit list. Boss out. The Marcus Kane was one on one against Shane Malice, and that match, our main event, starts right now. Your referee for this match is Danica Myers. Danica Myers. <laughs> Representing the females and here, WDWA. From the city of champions of Pittsburgh. Pennsylvania, weighing in at 232 pounds, the Steel City Sex Pistol, Shane Malick. Whoa. Did you see that, Travis? He just kicked that little kid's hand away. How disrespectful. I can't believe he just did that. Shane Malice, we haven't seen him here in a couple months, Travis. He lost his shot at the World Heavyweight Championship opportunity at uh, Berkeley Mania. We haven't seen him since Cisco no. took him out. Yep. From Atlanta, but he's got his hands full tonight with the kingpin. Oh, yes, he does. Big time fan favorite, Demarcus Kane. Demarcus Kane, ladies and gentlemen. I like to think of him of the future of WDWA, but right now at the present, he's about to show Shane Malice what he's all about. Demarcus Kane could show up on national television tomorrow, but for now, he is here at the World Domination Wrestling Alliance, and we are so happy to have him. You 
got to check us out one day. Hit him with the address. 605 B Winchester Avenue, Martinsburg, West Virginia. Come down and see the Kingpin live. Shane Malice may be a little intimidated by Demarcus King. Business is about to pick up. We're delivering one great match after another. Both of these guys are two of the best that we have to offer. That's how we do things here at WDWA. We only bring you the best talent from across the globe. Just take one look at Demarcus Kane and you will believe that. What a specimen, what a man. What a man, what a man, what a mighty fine man. He's a fine man indeed. Shea Malice is looking uh, particularly perturbed tonight. Not happy. This is going to be a big challenge for Shane Malice. He's been on a losing streak now for a while. And the way that it looks might not change tonight. Ring the bell. <laughs> All right. The bell is rung. Shane and Malice. And we are ready to start this. Demarcus Kane won. You're seeing it here. I hope Demarcus Kane has done his homework on Shane Malice. He cannot be trusted. Uh, I think he did, Travis. I think he has done his homework. Look at that. Crushing the hand. We have the best seat in the house, I'm telling you right now. Demarcus Kane, Shane Malice. Shane Malice is doing a lot of bantering to the fans at this point. Oh, the fans here at WGWA know how to tell, tell the ones that they love, they love them, and the ones they hate, they hate. They got no problem telling Shane Malice where he can go. And they love Demarcus Kane here. And these bulls are about to lock horns. Shane Malice with a quick headlock on Demarcus Kane. Keeping him where he wants him. Tried to send him off, but he's got that headlock, man. What can you do? It looks like Shane Malice has been studying some Demarcus Kane tapes as well. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. Look at that. Shane Malice is not a cruiserweight. He's not a cruiserweight in any not. aspect. But Demarcus Kane, oh man. It's, it's two behemoths going after each other. Both these guys. What's he got for him? Both these guys find success all over the globe. Oh! Shane Malice running into a brick wall there. Off the ropes now, hop over. Close line. Look at that. Malice straight to the outside. He might have forgot who he was in there with. Send him flying. Malice is shook up. While he's been gone, we've been stacking our roster with the greats. And he is, this is not a, the same WDWA that he was the world champion at. This is a new DW, WDWA.
Experience all the excitement of World Domination Wrestling Alliance Pro Wrestling Live. Come and become part of the show. Showing support to your favorite wrestlers. For more information, call us or look us up on Facebook. There is nothing like experiencing World Domination Wrestling Alliance live. We'll see you at the next show. Shirley Fakor, and I am your World Domination Wrestling Alliance television champion. They cheered in the streets of Tehran for my greatness. Greatness will shine through as Israel Shirley Fakor proves why I own WRNR TV, my friends. Azalam.
experience all the excitement of World Domination Wrestling Alliance Pro Wrestling Live. Come and become part of the show, showing support to your favorite wrestlers. For more information, call us or look us up on Facebook. There is nothing like experiencing World Domination Wrestling Alliance live. We'll see you at the next show. Marcus Kane has had enough. Nobody home, Shane. Try again. Got him with that knife edge chop. Another one. He's cutting him. He is cutting him. Yes. Love to see it. Got Shane Mouse by the trunks, whipping him off. Oh, he was going for the one hit a quitter. Oh! Whoa. That was perfectly, oh man, perfectly executed. Shane Mouse with the reversal on the one hit a quitter just to receive another chop by Demarcus Kane. He's trying to stay one step ahead of Demarcus Kane, but it's just not happening. Back chops for everybody. Yes. What is he calling for here? Oh! You got a guy the size of Demarcus Kane chopping you like that. Taking Shane Malice to Chop City. Back elbow. Oh! Malice. Take out that knee. That's a good move. He's That's trying. a smart call. He, you're right there, Travis. He's cutting the big man down. That's one, one heck of a tree in front of you. Might as well chop it down. Asking the fans who sucks oh. now. Look at that. Almost got the win right there. Shane Malice right back to that knee. Using the ropes says advantage. Come on, Danica. <laughs> Why are you yelling? Look, you know, he's full of jokes. He it's doesn't. A, it, I mean, it's a lot of ha ha until Demarcus Kane gets his hands back on Shane Malice. Seems like everybody's got to yell at me. He doesn't listen to nobody. Yeah. <laughs> Out to the center of the ring. Look at that. Yeah, Shane Malice has been the measuring stick here at WDWA for the last couple of years. And uh, Demarcus Kane is here to show him that he deserves to be on this roster. He deserves to be in the title picture. He deserves to be here, Travis. Shane Malice feeling on top of the world right now. Getting Demarcus Kane down like that, I would be too. It's a big accomplishment. Shane Malice is cutting all the corners tonight. Well, watch out for Demarcus Kane though. With the headbutt to the gut. Two of them. Got him. Whoa! Did 
Did you hear that pop? He just popped something out of Demarcus Kane's neck. He might need to see a chiropractor after that. Some chiropractic work in your future, Demarcus Kane. Yeah, we've had pro wrestlers' careers be ended like that. Shane. Shane Malice not quite sure what to do next. No, he knows. He's going to dissect that knee. He is. He's going to make it hard for Demarcus Kane to walk out of here. Showing the people a real suplex, he's saying. He got the big man over. Unbelievable. Doing everything in his power to take that knee out. Working on both knees, Travis. Shane going a uh, high risk maneuver. Don't see him at the top rope a lot. And that's why, Travis. Caught him with that boot. He's making sure all of his teeth are still in there. Now to Marcus Kane, House of Fire. Get it together, Demarcus. He's trying to get feeling back in that leg. Got him with the big whip to the other corner. There you go. Going back to that leg. Oh no. And he's got it hooked. He's got it hooked. Yeah, you cannot use the rope. You cannot use them. He's having a hard time getting that figure four on. I don't think he has it all the way, but he has it just enough. Yeah, he's been working on that knee enough in this match. It's definitely, the pain is getting inflicted. DeMarcus is in a bad way. Come on, Danica, he's on the ropes again. Using those ropes for leverage again. Shane Mal is showing the people that he's been the same snake he's been the whole time. Demarcus Kane trying to flip this over. There you go, Danica. Take control. Way to be in there, Danica. Way to be in there. All right. What Shane got for Demarcus Kane? Demarcus Kane slow to get up to his feet. Big knee to Demarcus Kane. That could be it. He may shock the world right here, Travis. Oh, and a big kick out by Demarcus Kane. These, th this crowd is heavily behind Demarcus Kane. Only a two, Shane, only a two. Now what's Shane got in store for Demarcus now? He's got him hooked. He's going for a double underhook. That, that might be the double underhook power driver that he likes to use. Yeah, good luck getting it on a guy that size. Oh! That took everything out of Demarcus Kane. He had to spring off that injured knee. Yes. That might have been his last ditch of effort right there, Travis. He really had to muster to find that strength. And Malice is showing life even before Demarcus Kane is. Wait, who's this? What the? What's going on? That's Cisco's music. It's Cisco? They have a long history. What is he doing down here? What's going 
going on here, Travis? He's distracting Shane, it looks like. Looks like they're talking. Is this a distraction or are they just, they're, it's a bad time to have a talk. There's the one hit a quitter. The one hit a quitter, Travis. Unbelievable. And it's over. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe it. The Marcus Kane put Shane Malice to bed. Yes, he did. What a night. Cisco came out here and made sure that Shane Malice was not going to leave here tonight as a winner, Travis. A huge win for DeMarcus Kane, the kingpin. And there goes Cisco. Marcus Kane asking who's the man. Tonight, here, here he is Cisco. the man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They, do you see that? That's what happens when you don't let the sizzling one help you out. I mean, he asked for it himself, if you ask me. Big words from Cisco. He asking for it. He, he, he asked, asked for it. Congratulations to the Marcus Kane for picking up the win against Shane Malice with a little bit of help from El Maton Cisco. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. This has been World Domination Wrestling Alliance on TV10. Have a great night.